No, I loved her more than anybody could understand. Every moment with her was like a dream, you know? He's talking about Andrea Vasquez, the beautiful 19-year-old woman who was kidnapped from Pem Park in Whittier on August 20th, 2023. Gabriel Esparza has been charged with her kidnapping, murder, and attempted rape. I'm still trying to accept everything. Andrea's boyfriend is speaking publicly about that horrific night for the very first time. He and Andrea were hanging out at Penn Park when suddenly a truck pulled up and the driver opened fire on them. I ducked and that's when I realized Andrea had been shot. As I crouched and got closer to her, that's when I heard the door open. Andrea had been shot in the head and now the gunman was walking towards him. When he got really close, he was about like five feet six feet and he just looked at me he had like no emotions in his eyes just he looked like he was on a mission and i could tell like he he didn't really have a heart you know andrea's boyfriend quickly ran looking for help telling a couple at the park to call 911. i heard uh his tires skirt and that's when i realized that he took off and i ran straight back to check on her and like she wasn't there. I still feel like I'm in denial a little bit. Um, it just doesn't seem real. When Andrea's sister, Edlyn, got the news that her sister had been shot and kidnapped, she quickly looked at her phone. Me and my sister share locations. I follow the location all the way to the last ping. I get there before any cops. I get there and all I see is um, a pile of uh, blood. Back home in Downey, Andrea's family and her boyfriend had contacted the local police department, begging them to go after Andrea. They had her location. They say, you, you have to go to Whittier Police. And I say, I can't even drive. I was shaking. I, can, I cannot drive. And they said, then you have to wait till they come here. It hurt me so much to see my sister like that. And I approached to one of the officers and at that time, we believe it was a white truck, and I say to the officers, please, it's, it's a white truck, they have my niece, please can you do something, you know, her sister is tracking her phone. The officer told me, you know how many white trucks are on the freeway, and I told her, stop all of them. Why couldn't they do that? Simple as that. Retired LAPD detective Moses Castillo says Downey police should have chased after the victim, even if it was out of their jurisdiction. You get in that car, go code three, and respond towards that way. And on the way over there, you start communicating to your communications, notify CHP, let's get an airship, let's get, let's get you know, resources running in that direction and connect with the lead agency to get on the same page. Downey police issued a statement that says in part, the Downey Police Department became involved in the investigation on August 20, 2023. Downey officers immediately began gathering information from her boyfriend and family members, relaying all information, including Andrea's cell phone tracking data, to Whittier officers. The investigation continued round the clock. However, sadly, Andrea's body was later located in a field in Moreno Valley. She didn't deserve this at all. If you know, anyone knew her, they knew how much of a good person she was. You know, I always love her. And uh, I just miss her a lot every day. Gabriel Esparza remains in custody. His next court hearing has been scheduled for January 23rd. I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.